Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. My wife Cindy and I, we make over furniture and we flip furniture. Cindy's at work today, but maybe we'll see her later. So let's get going on our next project. Okay gang, this is our project for today. We've got two pieces. We've got a nightstand and we've got a matching dresser. The problem with the dresser, you can see right here, is that all of these rails keep falling out of the drawers. As soon as you pull the drawer out, the rail falls out. And these rails, um, let me find the right one here. Yeah, this one, the rails are just friction fit. They go in a little hole here, a little hole there, and they're just kind of friction fit like that. Well, they keep falling out, so what we're going to do is we're going to take E6000 adhesive. We're going to squirt a little bit in those holes where it should be friction fit. And we're going to make those a little more permanent. And then uh, once we get those in, we're going to slide it into the dresser. Um, because once it's in there, it'll hold this rail in place. We'll let that dry. And then we'll be ready to get started on prepping for painting. Okay, so here's our drawer and our slide. So these things actually... Just go in three spots here. So we're gonna see if we can't glue these in. We're just gonna put some adhesive. In these slots. You can tell it's a nice day, the dogs are barking. We can actually put a little bit outside make sure it holds I'm just gonna friction fit these right in here and that glue should hold it Okay, so next step is removing the hardware. Okay guys, so this is the dress for the nightstand that we're going to be doing. Um, I've already taken the hardware off, we're getting ready to clean it, but before we do, if you notice down at the bottom of the dresser we're missing a piece of trim board. So I'm going to get a piece of trim board we're going to put on there so that these two match, they look good, and that that bottom is covered. Once we get that done, we'll uh, start doing the cleaning and getting this thing ready to paint. Okay, so you want to go kind of easy with the orbital, you don't want to grind into it too bad. But you don't want to get rid of the bumps, and there's no reason why you can't smooth this out. If you do um, carve into the MDF a little bit because it's so soft, um, you can always mud over it with some Dixie Bell mud and level it out.
Hey guys, it's prime time. We're gonna be using the Dixie Bell slick stick to prime everything up with. And that way tomorrow morning we'll be able to get started on the paint. So here we go. Okay, so we're getting ready to spray the doors, drawers. So we're using the Scotch blue with the plastic built onto it to cover up the rest of the drawers so we don't uh, spray the sides or the insides of the drawers. We really like this stuff when you're spraying. And I won't fix it out. Don't fix it out.
Okay, gang. We're gonna paint the taps of this. We're gonna be using. We're gonna be. I, I almost dropped this once. <laughs> and she's over there. I said, "Well, do you want to roll while I trim?" She says, "No, I'm gonna watch." I'm gonna watch. She's gonna watch. I got paint on my fingers. <laughs> Ew! I got paint on my fingers. <laughs> we're we're gonna be using the general finishes of milk paint. Um, this is the seagull gray color. So we're gonna paint the tabs gray, and then we're going to do the uh, the smoky glaze effect on top of this. I need a piece of sand. I need a sanding block. There's a rough spot right here. Probably missed that. Yeah. You missed this spot. So it's a windy day in Chicago. So if you're getting wind noise in the audio, please excuse us for that. We do what we can do. And we got we got a new. I don't know if that tripod's moving around too. The picture might be moving, but. Never fear, we ordered a, um, after we sold our wine bar, our gift to ourselves was ordering a new tripod to hold our camera so that the video would be a little better for you guys, wouldn't move around as much. Okay, we're good. So anyway, so that's what we're doing. Let's get going with it. We'll get these tops, the first coat done. Okay. Let dry it. We'll do a second coat. So it's nap time? Yes, it's nap time. <laughs> okay, everyone. We just wanted to show you we're going to put the second coat on the top. And are you cutting off my head again? No. No, we're good this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have a bad habit of doing you. it. So, anyway, little trick that we have. Um, instead of just putting your brushes into a plastic bag, if you've got a pan that you're rolling with like we did, we just take some uh, shopping plastic bags, put one on one way and one on the other way, like this, and it'll keep your paint wet and your brushes and rollers wet, as you can see. So you're all ready to go again. So it's just an easy way of doing that without having, you can see the brushes Still very flexible, it hasn't dried at all. So it's an easy way to keep your stuff ready to go. Just thought we'd show that to you real quick. And we'll see if we have enough paint in here. To do these two tops again. If not, we'll just add some.
Hey, did you guys notice I got a haircut today? I've had the same barber for 38 years. And she is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> She's my wife, don't worry. <laughs> Cindy went to barber college when? When your teens? 18, 19, yeah. 19. Ever since we've been dating, she's been cutting my hair. Okay, so we're all set. We'll let this dry, and then we'll go on to uh, putting on the smoky glaze, and then top coat. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and give the hardware a quick spray. We're gonna just spray the entire piece black. We feel that these, um, the white part of this is just not going to mesh with the white part of the cabinets. It's going to be too uh, off, the two whites. So we're going to go ahead and spray them completely black. Okay guys, so we flipped them all over. We're gonna get the other side sprayed. Okay guys, so in all of our exuberance in getting our dress for nightstand done, we completely forgot that we had a mirror to go with this set. So we stuck it over in the corner and kind of out of sight, out of mind. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our crud cutter. We're going to refill the bottle pretty quick. So we're going to use a crud cutter. We're going to go ahead and wipe this thing down and get it ready for priming. We are going to use stick, uh, stick slick on this. Okay, so if you guys have seen people painting mirrors, you've seen maybe the playing card trick, you go over to your dollar store, get a dollar pack of cards, and you stick the cards under the frame um, so you don't have to tape. We came up with something else that works. You know all that free junk mail you get with all those wonderful postcards? Guess what we use them for? You just get them right in here. Now sometimes these work, sometimes they don't. We'll see if it's gonna work on here. It looks like it is. We just work our way down. This mirror is pretty tight, but they're going in. Thank you. of this we're going to use the rust-oleum smoke glaze I'll show you how we do this smoke glaze just brush it on 
and then we wipe it off. And it, when you start with this, it makes a mess. It looks like heck when you put it on, but it's, once you wipe it off, it, it really gives a nice effect. So make sure you get good coverage. And I go ahead and I do. sides too. This stuff doesn't dry real fast so it does have a pretty good working time. Just want to make sure that you get it well covered. And even this little can will last a long time. There's a lot of it's a pretty thin coat. So it lasts quite some time. Okay, and a little trick when you're doing this, when you take your cloth to wipe this off, you want to take your glaze, you want to dab a little bit here on the cloth, you want it to have some of the glaze on it and have it already kind of absorbed. So what will happen is when you go to wipe it off, your first wipe will take like all of it off if you don't already have some on the on your rag. Let me set this down and we'll show you. So there you go. So I already got some on the rag. So when you start wiping, see what it does? That way it doesn't take it all off on you. You just want to wipe in one direction. Basically, you just keep wiping until you get it kind of to the effect you want. You know, we could leave it just like that. I think that's a little dark. What you may want to do is get a little bit more of the dry cloth, go across it again. If I can get a straight line, I like it to be fairly straight. You don't necessarily want it perfectly straight, but I can already feel it starting to drag, so it's already drying. Once you start
and just kind of drag it until you get the effect you want. process but we're putting the first coat of paint on the mirror we're using the Sherwin Williams emerald and this color is creamy it's kind of a just an off-white so I'm not gonna bore you with the whole process painting is painting and uh, just want to let you know we're putting the first coat on here and we'll see if it's gonna take I can already tell it's probably gonna take two so we'll be back when we get this done And there's the first coat. Pretty quick and easy, huh? Okay, gang, we're gonna put top coat on. This is the uh, Dixie Bell Clear Coat Satin. We're gonna be using that for our tops on the dresser and the nightstand. And I'm gonna start by just doing the edges and then we'll take care of the top. Nothing I started but the handle on the inside. Come on, Jason. That'd be interesting to go with a handle on the inside and just two little screws on the outside.
Well, okay guys, that's it for this project. Uh, we certainly hope that what we showed you is that even MDF furniture can actually look pretty elegant if it's done right. So we're going to be listing this for $175 on Facebook Marketplace. And this was another free find that we had. Um, so our cost uh, of materials was about $25. So potentially we're looking at about $150 profit. And we will update you with a short video when it sells to let you know how things went. As always, we thank you for watching, and for those of you subscribing, we really appreciate it. And if you're interested in seeing our future videos, certainly hit that subscribe button, and you'll be notified whenever we update with a new video. So we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you soon.